player in the uh, in the uh, rooms. Of I reckon course. Rocket might have been the mad old player. Exactly. Yeah, they're both similar guys. <laughs> Uh, now, of course, today the biggest story in football this week has been uh, the so-called umpire gate and uh, today the AFL investigation officers uh, declared that there was nothing to answer as far as uh, allegations of improper conduct or improper comments made by umpire Matthew Head. Here's what the umpire had to say after today's deliberations. It's been an incredibly difficult week being unable to defend myself against such serious allegations. At no point did I have any conversation with Tony Jones and the comment that is now well known in the media was definitely not made by me. This is why Brett Allen and I asked for this investigation. My biggest concern is the irreversible damage done to my reputation and to the umpiring fraternity in general. Matthew Head, after the uh, news today that the AFL investigations officers had cleared him of any improper practice. Let's go down to Tony Jones, the man who made the allegations one week ago on Friday Night Football on the flight home from Perth. Uh, Tony, your response? Yeah, thanks, Eddie. Well, uh, just very, very briefly, I'll repeat what I said on the news tonight, and that is uh, I am 110% certain uh, Matthew Head made that comment there, and uh, not for one second will I back away from that claim. But uh, having said that, that is it as far as I'm concerned. I think uh, everyone's had a gutful of it over the past week. More importantly, we have got a fantastic finale to the home and away season coming up. And it all starts here, mate. All right, Tony. Tony Jones reporting on the boundary line as he does every Friday night on AFL on 9. As we go to the break, as we look towards what is going to be, as Gary Lyon said in our opening, one of the great final rounds in the history of the game. Let's look back on some of those wonderful times. I remember back one time, mate, when you snapped your leg in the yes, last game, which was a shock. Yes, war wounded. But you then went on and played some fantastic <laughs> Septembers as well. Let's have a look as we get set for Western Bulldogs and Collingwood at the last round finishes to remember over the years. This is AFL on 9.